We actually have been working on the planning for this building for 14 years. But um, our nonprofit partner, the Gettysburg Foundation, uh, did the, the most of the work because they raised $103 million to build this building. They are also continuing their fundraising because we've got an exciting project, which is to take the old buildings and old parking lots off the battle line of the Union Army where we had buildings, over 970 soldiers were killed, wounded, or captured during the fighting. So we want to bring that area back to the way it looked at the time of the battle. You know, the Gettysburg Foundation is a nonprofit organization, and we work here in partnership with the National Park Service. And we are in the middle right now of our campaign to preserve Gettysburg, which is a $125 million campaign that includes this new facility. About $103 million of the $125 million is for the construction of this facility. So it's really exciting. We have gone primarily to private sources, corporations, foundations, individuals um, to, to, um, to raise this money. And it is, it's, been, it's been a massive undertaking, but a really exciting undertaking. And the interest in Gettysburg, it, it's phenomenal, really, when you say Gettysburg, um, both across the country and really across the world, you know, people have an understanding of what happened here. So we're just really happy that we can be involved in this, this partnership with the National Park Service that really alleviates some of the operate, operational costs of the facility. We're, we're now absorbing all of those. We raise the money for the facility and we're also operating it for the Park Service for a period of 20 years. At the end of 20 years, we will turn over the facility debt-free to the National Park Service. So it's really, it's a dream partnership and we are just thrilled to be a part of it and, and do something to preserve Gettysburg. The museum is based on the story of not just the fighting of the Battle of Gettysburg over three days with all those soldiers and 51,000 casualties, but some of the Civil War battles that led up to Gettysburg and, of course, the battles that followed Gettysburg. In addition, we've got stories about the causes of the Civil War and even in this country how the Civil War resolved some questions like slavery would no longer continue in this country and that's we would be one country not two but it did not resolve and we continue to struggle today with the meaning rights and responsibilities of the citizens and how that struggle continues with the civil rights movement and even today so it's a very compelling museum it uses films interactives you can pick up this fully loaded musket with a backpack which weighs 45 pounds uh, you can pick up slave shackles, you can see General Lee's cot, his field desk, the encampment of an ordinary soldier. You name it, it's here. We'd like everybody to come out and take a look and get out onto the battlefield and spend some time here um, exploring what Gettysburg is and what it means to, to us as a country.